If you or someone you love has space diction, please raise your hand. Thank you for your honesty. What if I told you that there is a secret breakthrough in sobriety that's not found in external solutions, but within the way we treat ourselves every day? In just a moment, I will go ahead and explain why it's crucial for us to explore the deep connection between self-love and addiction. Let me take you back to a pivotal moment in 2017. On a rainy day, I found myself outside a familiar liquor store. As the rain blurred the world outside, tears mirrored my inner turmoil, tears of shame, worthlessness, and despair. It was at that moment of utter vulnerability I reached a turning point. After trying countless methods to quit my addiction, I realized that there's a love both within and beyond me. Overwhelmed and at my wit's end, I surrendered fully and called out to God, please help me. I do not want to live like this anymore. Just about two weeks later, I ended up in the hospital with pancreatitis. I half joked to myself saying, sheesh, what gives? Now God is even mad at me. But truly, it was a blessing in disguise. At the hospital, the doctor there warned me sharply. She said, Gina, you're going to die within 10 years if you continue drinking alcohol. This was more than just a health scare. It felt like a divine intervention warning me. This shocking moment made me think about my two young boys then aged nine and two. Could I really leave them motherless? Through deep prayer and reflection at the hospital was the moment I truly embraced self-love, marking the start of genuine recovery. Overcoming an addiction is a life-changing experience. I'm sure some of you had raised your hands earlier, can relate. But before I go any further, I wanna go ahead and define sobriety in this context. You see, to me, sobriety isn't just about abstaining from substances, it's about living a life free from all dependencies, supported by a foundation of self-love. Recent estimates reveal that 350 million people globally are battling addiction spanning substances like alcohol, drugs, and tobacco, as well as behavioral addictions such as gambling, excessive use of the internet, and social media. When we embrace self-love, we open the door to successful sobriety and a fuller, freer life. Let me share with you what truly was a game changer in my sobriety journey. It might just help you or someone close to you too. It was changing the way that I talked to myself. You see, growing up, loving myself seemed taboo. I worried that it would make me seem arrogant or conceited, so I diminished my self-worth to make others happy. This led to years of self-neglect and ultimately contributed to my struggles with alcohol. It's funny, they don't exactly offer a class in school called Loving Yourself 101, do they? but I realize that each of us has that power to create that course for ourselves every day. By changing the way that I spoke to myself, I not only fostered a deeper sense of self-love, but I equipped myself with the emotional strength needed to maintain sobriety. I know, I know what you may be thinking. Sure, Gina, that sounds way easier said than done. I get it. An easy step to start talking to yourself is to begin each day by saying something positive about yourself. It can be as simple as saying, I am capable. I am worthy of good things. I actually all want us to practice this together loudly. So if you could repeat after me, I am capable. I am, capable. I am worthy of good things. I am worthy of good things. Simple yet powerful. People often engage in self-care activities to express their self-love and nurture their well-being. Sure, you may be getting those massages, but consider how you're talking to yourself during those moments. Are your thoughts nurturing or are they critical? When we embrace these practices, we open the door to successful sobriety, paving the way to a healthier, full, free life. When we begin to nurture self-love, we rely less on others for approval. This powerful shift means we're less likely to use unhealthy habits or substances to make us feel good about our, ourselves. Trusting our own word leads to healthier choices and strengthens our individuality, making us less dependent on outside validation. 
Recent research, including this study from the American Journal of Drug and Alcohol Abuse, shows that low self-esteem often leads people to use substances as a way to cope. This highlights how important self-esteem is in preventing addiction. By boosting our self-worth, we're not just avoiding negative behaviors. We're choosing a healthier, more fulfilling life. It's about being kind to ourselves and recognizing our worth. One of the most impactful stories from my work involves Sarah, who's battled alcohol dependency for over 10 years. When she first came to me, she felt worthless and trapped. We started focusing on self-compassion, a new concept to her after years of self-criticism and guilt. Slowly, Sarah started treating herself with the same kindness and compassion she would a dear friend. This, isn't, this change didn't just help her beat her addiction, it changed her whole life. As her self-worth improved, she relied less on others for approval. This newfound confidence led her to pursue a career she had always dreamt of, but never felt worthy of attempting. Today, Sarah is successful in a creative field, living a life shaped by her passions and successes, not by her past struggles. Her story shows us that focusing on and valuing ourselves leads to amazing changes and opens up opportunities we never thought possible. An example of that is me standing here talking to you all beautiful people. Let's pause and imagine how life changes when sobriety is backed by self-love. Picture waking up clear-headed, making choices from a place of deep self-respect instead of need or habit. Visualize yourself succeeding in situations that used to be difficult, now guided by self-acceptance and peace. This isn't just a dream. It can be our reality if we choose to treat ourselves with the same kindness and compassion we show to others. Let's keep this vision in mind and work towards making it true. In embracing self-love and sobriety, we've discovered a new freedom that has greatly improved our relationships. This journey isn't just about overcoming addiction. It's about building more meaningful connections with friends, family, and community. By embracing and nurturing and being in recovery, our relationships become more genuine and impactful. This transformation has been one of the most rewarding parts of recovery. And that's not all. Our families and communities are greatly impacted as well. As we nurture self-love and recovery, we help create a healthier, more connected society. This ripple effect strengthens our communities, making them more resilient and rooted in compassion and understanding. Let's now engage in a self-compassion pause. This exercise will help us connect to our inner kindness that is so crucial for recovery. You can go ahead and remain seated or you can stand up if you like. You can close your eyes if it helps you focus. Go ahead and take three deep breaths, breathing slowly through your nose, allowing your belly and chest to expand. Exhale gently through your mouth, releasing any tension. Silently acknowledge whatever you are experiencing at this moment, be it anxiety, frustration, or sadness. Tell yourself, this is a moment of suffering, or this is hard right now. Place your hand on your heart or another suiting place on your body that is a reminder of kindness. Speak to yourself as you would a friend with compassion. You may use phrases like, I am here for you. It's okay to feel this way. I give myself permission to feel. I am worthy of kindness. Now imagine warmth or a soft light emanating from your hands, spreading throughout your body. Visualize this warmth as compassion and kindness filling you up. Spend a few moments in silence, feeling the compassion you offered yourself and recognize that everyone has challenging moments and that you are not alone in your feelings. Go ahead and take one more deep breath and let go. Carry the sense of compassion with you as you continue your day. 
as we wrap up, when we embrace self-love, we open the door not just to sobriety, but a life filled with possibilities. Let's hold on to that vision of waking up each and every morning, feeling respected and empowered by the person who matters most, ourselves. I encourage each and every one of you to start your self-love journey today, no matter where you are in life or recovery process. It's never too late to transform your life because the world needs your shine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.